All right, let's talk some Brock Purdy for a second, why don't we? Uh, Brock Purdy, I think, continue, listen, continuing to win football games, right? Uh, and, you know, playing well for the 49ers. I know everyone's going to say it's Kyle Shanahan, but, like, listen, we have seen quarterbacks come in, play in a Shanahan offense, and not be spectacular. We're seeing Purdy play well and win football games and, you know, continuing to make the 49ers a legitimate Super Bowl contender because of how well he's playing. I thought this was another good performance, and it's this kind of stuff that Purdy just does very well, which is, this is actually maybe one of his better throws of his young career, where it's going to be a third down and nine, man coverage, you have a receiver who's going to be running over the middle, so you see that again. It is, well, I just said, it's not fair to just only give the credit to Shanahan. You obviously have to give credit to Shanahan. Shanahan is putting up his players in positions to succeed he's putting purdy in positions to succeed but that's all he can do right all he can do is put purdy in a position to succeed purdy has to then succeed once he's in that position and so you know yes this is the route that can win against this type of coverage but what's interesting about it is there's two safeties deep and they're realizing okay since it's a third down and nine, there's a very real chance that Purdy could be looking to just try to get the first down, right? Get past that first down marker. That's where he's going to be looking towards. That's where he's going to be paying attention. And so sometimes if you play a little aggressive, this is how you can get a turnover or at least a pass deflection. Obviously, there's a risk, can leave you open down the field, but it's sometimes worth trying, especially against young quarterbacks. Watch how when Purdy takes the snap, he is going to fire in that direction. And you can see how this could very much go wrong at this point, right? You know, there's a window, but a very, very small one. This is a dangerous situation for Purdy. It's a dangerous situation for the 49ers. And it's one of those things where, I'll be honest, I don't know if Purdy saw this happening. I think it's very possible that Purdy just nearly made a mistake and didn't. In fact, that's what my guess would be. But this is still the benefit of, he's trying to hit Jawan Jennings here. It's the benefit of timing the route perfectly. If you time the route the way you're supposed to, the, more often than not, the defender who's coming in from a different area is not going to be able to get over and try and make a play. It's just, it's rare to have it happen. As you see, it's a perfect throw. If that wasn't a perfect throw, that's an incompletion, but it was a perfect throw from Purdy to pick up the first down on a drive they would then go on to score a touchdown on that he didn't have too much to do with. But again, Brock Purdy, the rules are just different for certain quarterbacks, right? If Mahomes is just running the offense, he's having a bad day, right? There's a lots of stuff he has to do. For Purdy, he just has to be a part of this 49ers offense. That's all he has to do. And he is absolutely doing his job and playing his role. And you can win a lot of football games doing that. Now, going over here, this is another example of, I think, a good play. This is going to be his interception. So, okay, you might be wondering, that sentence doesn't make a lot of sense, right? Another example of a good play, it's an interception. That, that's not how that works, right? Well, in this situation, it is going to be how it works. Where you're going to see that the way this play concept works, again, position to succeed, right? You have a, uh, you know, zone coverage. It's a zone coverage blitz, but you can kind of see how there's a route in that gap in coverage that could get open. So, all right, Purdy's going to look in that direction. Makes sense. Purdy takes a snap and you do see that it is open right here. I mean, this is an open opportunity for him to make the throw. And so this is one that he's doing. And I think what I like about this play is you see how he's already into throwing motion. Again, one of the things that a lot of young quarterbacks really struggle with is it just takes some time to realize how quick you have to be at getting rid of the football. In college, you just have so much more time than you do in the NFL that it just it's an adjustment. But for Purdy, it really hasn't been. Purdy's already in the throwing motion. His timing has been the best part about his game, which is usually the worst part about a rookie quarterback's game. Look at this beautiful throw. Ends up getting tipped up and intercepted by Jennings. But, I mean, what are you going to do? It was a beautiful throw. Good stuff there from Purdy, in my opinion. And, like, again... Sometimes that happens. Sometimes you get a bad break. That's why interceptions aren't a great stat because they can be misleading. Uh, I still think that's a very impressive play from Purdy. Now let's go over to something like this. So it's going to be a zone coverage play and you're going to have, uh, it's going to be Brandon Ayuk who's going to be running a route that's eventually going to get over the middle. Again, very similar to that last play. Just this time it's Brandon Ayuk running the route, but watch what happens. Purdy takes a snap and this really is the 49ers offense working as intended. Teams are going to play a lot of zone against you because you run the ball so effectively. Effectively. So getting these over the middle routes where all you need is a quarterback who can time these routes over the middle. I'm assuming this is what Shanahan liked about Purdy when he, you know, I mean, he didn't draft him. He's the coach, but you know, when he, I'm sure had a hand in drafting a quarterback there, because why would a head coach not at least have a, you know, some hand 
in that is because he's probably just saw it on tape he can do stuff like this which is a, the main thing that you need to do to be successful in this offense again look beautifully timed beautifully accurate uh, you know, uh, don't love that how you kind of take the hit there, but you know, what are you going to do? You got to, got to play football. You got to, you know, move the ball down the field. And he was able to do that. And this is again, part of what's making him successful. And it's hard to imagine that this team is going to really have too much. I I'm not going to say that they won't have issues come playoff time because every team has issues come playoff time, but there's really not a lot of weaknesses in this team. We thought that quarterback was their biggest weakness. And to some degree, you could still argue, like, as good as Purdy is playing, uh, you know, uh, is he going to be able to outduel uh, uh, Jalen Hurts this season or Patrick Mahomes if they get to the Super Bowl, that kind of stuff? I don't know. It'll be hard to see. It'll be hard to say for sure. But will he be able to do his job and allow him to put up a good amount of points? Sure. And it's a team game. This play is a great example of just what the 49ers do two opposing teams where it's a cover three zone, but it's really the safety deep that I'm going to be talking about. So uh, worth noting, single safety deep. That's what the co that's what the cover three zone means. And for the 49ers, they do so much of this over the middle stuff. They fool teams so consistently that when they just run traditional stuff, sometimes that fools teams. And that's what's going to happen here. Watch how the safety moves so far in on this play, expecting something over the middle, that when Kittle is actually going to be running deep, he's now in a bad position. So again, is this a Purdy play? No, it isn't. It's a 49ers play. But again, if you're a 49ers fan, you don't care. Score a touchdown, however you can get it done. And probably you like it better when it can be the scheme itself, because that way, if Purdy does have an off day, you can still get some points. But look how Purdy is going to end up making a beautifully accurate throw. Again, easy throw to make, but still good throw. And he was able to get the touchdown there. So again, He's doing stuff well. Yes, it's an easy situation for him to be in. But you know what? All they need him to do is go up and make layups, but he's making the layups. And at the end of the day, do your job. And if all you have to do is make layups, I think it's still an impressive feat to know that that's your job and to only make the layups and don't try to make a three-pointer, right? He's still doing a good job at just running the offense. And, I mean, I don't know. 49ers almost look better with Purdy in there than any of the other two quarterbacks. And the other, you know, Grappolo played well this year. And uh, I thought Trey Lance sh showed flashes when he was in there as well. But Purdy's just playing well right now. So, again, who knows with this stuff? I don't think anyone can sit here and say Purdy's going to be great or Purdy sucks. I don't think we know at this point. It, he wasn't a great prospect coming out, but he seemingly fits this scheme really well. And that's all you have to do. You, all you have to do is fit the scheme that you're getting drafted into. And if he can do that and be effective at it, I think it's very reasonable that he could be the first rookie quarterback ever to win an NFC Championship game. Uh, that's never happened before, a rookie quarterback to win a conference championship game. He could be the first. Uh, maybe he could be the first to win a Super Bowl. It's it's a real possibility, and how crazy would that be if a Mr. Irrelevant is the first to win a Super Bowl as a rookie? Because eventually it has to happen, right? I don't know. That's what I think about all that. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.